So this is Christmas And what have you done? Another year So here we are in the living room, quite a little simple setup really. Got the old bar stool out, the Dreamcast arcade stick. Hello and welcome back to another video. This is very much an old school way of recording things for me, so I'm back in the living room. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of this Sturmwind on the Dreamcast if you've not seen it before. Absolutely fantastic. I really am in love with this. I'm just thinking of a level to show you. I'm going to choose this one here, 3-1. The way the backgrounds are and the attention to detail, I really do rate this game. Yeah, it's not the best shooter in the entire world, but I think it more than makes up for that with everything else that's so amazing about it. The soundtrack is phenomenal, absolutely phenomenal. So let's crack in here and uh, hopefully my camera will do it a slight bit of justice. Although it's not going to look as good as the real thing, obviously. I'm not going to bother to explain the, the power-up system and the gameplay elements like I usually would. Just really to say, hey, check this game out. Pretty awesome. I don't know how easy it is to still get a hold of. I'm just going to let off a bomb for no good reason there. I think I paid around about £35 and it's been sealed for probably three or four months, maybe longer. But I was really pleased when I sealed it and stuck it on and it was this mental. I mean, look at that in the background. Really nice. I'm not going to talk about the weapons. I mean, you do get three types of weapons that you can sort of choose in an axe lay type manner. But as you get hit, you lose a weapon and you need to collect the power up for it to get it back again. Unfortunately, I'm not making a very good example of playing this. Controls very nicely with the Dreamcast arcade stick. Really does feel legitimately like a quality arcade game. It's all about getting the power ups and maxing each weapon out. Like a little football, if you can see it just gone by. Just neat little touches like that really make this game. And this, I mean, I don't know how well this is going to come across on the camera, but this really impressed me. I mean, it's just your basic sort of dodging section. But it's the way the sort of weather affects the wind. And in a minute you'll get sort of a screen shake and definitely impressive effect. Oh, I've been hit. I've been hit. Oh, I've been hit twice. Not good. Well, yeah, I mean, if you can get hold of this game for like the 35, 40 quid mark, I wouldn't hesitate. There's definitely a lot of enjoyment here for your money, there's multiple difficulty levels. 
And this is just on the medium difficulty, but I have played for a few levels on hard. And at that point, it feels very much like a traditional shooter. There's a lot more bullets around. But no matter how you play it, it's an enjoyable experience. I've had a number of people play this game around here, and they've all been really impressed with it. A lot of them are people who are not shooter fans, so... I know SNK Neo Geo man was sal salivating at the mouth about this title. And I can understand why now after playing it. So I love this big mouth here. And another nice feature of it, which isn't really a traditional shoot em up thing, is that it actually saves your progress. As you go through each level, you can go back and replay any level or start from where you left off last and I don't know it's quite it's quite nice to have that option I think. Oh dear. Here we go with the boss. I love the way his eyes are and that. Lasers coming at you. You've got to stay pretty preci pretty precise where you sat. And lasers back again. Oh, and it got me. It got me big time. Lasers back again. Oh, no, you got to stay in this corner. Oh. I think that's it. I think that's it. Game over. So yeah, I just wanted to show you that level because I really think that's a fantastic one. But it, it's such a great experience playing this game. Really has put a smile on my face going through this. So definitely one that's well worth checking out. fantastic Christmas. I hope I don't speak to you before. Have a happy new year. And uh, that's it. Goodbye and God bless.